Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Grip and Rip back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about something that's happening to 2023 Topps Chrome. That is right, guys. Something we've all pretty much guessed what happened is happening. And of course, I want to let you know why, if you guys are unaware. So if you guys are brand new to this channel, thank you for joining me. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video, as that is the best way to help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking of growing the channel, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away hobby packs of Series 2. All you got to do to enter is be publicly subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content you see on the channel, and last... But certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section on who your all-star representatives were on your favorite team. I will pick the winner once we hit 7,000 subscribers. So there is that. Also, if you guys have any Koch cards in Chrome that aren't base cards... I will buy them off you if you want them. I will gladly, gladly, gladly buy them off you. Just all you got to do is DM me on my Instagram and follow me there if you haven't, at Grip and Rip Sports Cards. I'm going to try to post on there more often. Uh, I just really don't use that Instagram much. I don't know why. Uh, I should probably start using Twitter a little bit more too. I just, I, I don't know why. And TikTok, like TikTok is like, I saw an article the other day, the best way to grow a brand which is is, is mind-boggling to me. I, I mean, I, I get it, but I should probably post on more uh, on, on there more too, but I don't. Um, probably should start doing that. I'm going to try to make that a priority. Uh, maybe in the new year. That may, that might be my New Year's resolution for all we know. I don't know. But um, yeah, do that. And of course, one more important thing. If you guys haven't heard, we're going to start doing Channel of the Month. What that is, is I'm going to be highlighting a small YouTube sports card content creator every month, one channel a month, in hopes to build their brand. You know, like I say, if if you know if if you guys didn't watch my videos, I wouldn't be here. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing this for a job. You know, so you guys put me in this position to do what I do, and I want to give back. Uh, this is the best way I think I can give back to some people to try to maybe you know grow their fan base a little bit and maybe you know. Um, you know, get their viewers up, subscribers, you know, things like that to help them with their journey. Because I know a lot of people who watch my videos, they want to do what I do. I get it. You know, I, I was that same way, you know, growing up, you know, I always wanted to be a YouTuber, you know, and I, I luckily it, it is, is happening, you know, it's happening right before our very eyes. Um, don't know how long it'll go. I mean, I do plan on uploading like every day until like forever. I mean, I ain't going nowhere. Um, I have another channel too. Uh, starting that up, it's like a toy channel. Um, maybe you guys might be interested in. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna start that up. It's it started up already. Posted the first couple of videos. Um, but yeah, so like this is my job, and I just want to give back to some of you guys. One, uh, all you gotta do is let me know if you're a content creator, what kind of sports card content you make, and I'm gonna watch it. In September first, I'll announce the winner of the. I guess giveaway, if that's what you want to call it. I guess that's what we'll call it channel of the month, right? Channel of the month. So September, we're starting channel of the month. Hopefully, if you guys do YouTube sports card videos, uh, you know, hopefully I will uh, see you guys in the comment section and just leave a comment, man. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. If you want to win, just leave a comment. That's all you got to do. So there's that. So let's get into the video. And of course, I want to shout out something. Finally got the autograph. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, Finally, finally, finally got the autograph. A Joey Manessis uh, out of 150. 50 out of 150. Nice clean number there. 50 of 150. Um, wish the autograph was a little smidge lower on the card, but I guess it's okay. Um, it is blue, nice blue on blue. It's a blue wave. I have to, I think that's what it's called, a blue wave like of some sort. Um, like the color, like the ink color, like the blue, like the kind of semi-color match, kind of to an extent. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. So we have one pack left of Chrome. Uh, gonna plan on buying some Chrome. Going to. Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Chrome. Right? Chrome, talk of the town, you know. Chrome is gonna be talking of the town for a while. Because guess what? We have to wait like another month and a half until we find anything else at retail sports cards. 
The next retail sports card set is coming out September 22nd. Uh, Alan Aginter. And add two weeks onto that. Um, because, of course, retail comes out about two weeks after the fact. That's about about month and a half from now, right? That's like, what, October? First week of October, right? About the end of the season. So, for all you guys out there who like to buy retail and retail only, it's going to be a little while before you see anything new. And even at that, you know, we have Platinum Chrome Anniversary. Platinum Chrome, from what I hear, is spectacular. I hear great things uh, about Platinum Chrome. Uh, I have personally not seen it yet, or else I would have bought some. Um, that's definitely on my priority list next week. Um, hopefully my Walmart restocks it or hasn't even stocked it. I haven't even seen it yet. I've been checking for like the last couple days. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing that's been stocked up on on the shelf at my wo local Walmart. Chrome. I finally saw Chrome blaster boxes today at a Walmart out of town. It wasn't even my hometown Walmart. So my hometown Walmart still has yet to stock Chrome. Insane, right? And of course, had that $40 price tag. I counted 19 blaster boxes of chrome. 19. And I'm imagining, just taking a guess, that there was probably 20 there that was stocked. I imagine, of course, today was Friday. Today, I should say yesterday was Friday. Um, I imagine that vendor stocked on, on Friday. I'd imagine he put 20 blaster boxes there of chrome. And so far, one has been sold. And here's the funny thing. Walmart is right across the street from Target in this particular area where I was at I, I was at today. Right? Guess what? Not a singular blaster box of chrome was on the shelf. And I asked an employee just to see when the vendor stocked. The vendor stocked Wednesday. Wednesday of this week. The rest of the aisle, the rest of the sports card aisle, looked fresh, right? Big empty sp uh, spot on the shelf where Chrome was, right? And guess what? Chrome wasn't there, right? Don't you guys see this as an issue? An issue as in for Walmart, because if you guys are unaware, and I'm sure you guys are, Target is selling their boxes $5 less than Walmart. Now you may be saying to yourself, five dollars, grip rip, it's only five dollars. Yeah, but here's the thing. That adds up. Every time you buy a box of chrome at Walmart, let's say for example, at Walmart you get seven blaster boxes for a certain price, and at that same price at Target you get eight. Why? Eight times five is forty. Right? And it adds up. It adds up a lot, adds up over time, right? So that is why it's a big deal. They priced themselves out of the market by doing that. Now, it's only $5, right? It's a very small amount compared to the big picture. But $5, like I just said, it adds up. And it adds up quick. It's not $0.05. Cents, it's not $0.50. Cents. It's $5. It adds up over time. And by Walmart pricing their their bow, or I should well, I'll get into Bowman here in a minute. I started ahead of myself. With with Chrome being five dollars extra, people in particular areas where maybe a Target is at where a Walmart is, which in my areas, like I go into like all these different areas, like north, south, east, and west, right? There is a Walmart and Target every which way you go in my area. And it's funny. Is because they're all within a half a mile of each other. Literally, like I kid you not, even in, even in Ohio, there's a Walmart and Target like a half a mile from each other. Um, everywhere I go, every literally where I go, there are they are very close to each other, right? And it doesn't stop people from literally checking the other store because what other people like to do is, you know, some people like to go on retail sports card hunts. Like for example, I like to go on toy hunts, right? And typically, like like today, like what I did today. I, I go on toy hunts. I go to Walmart and I go to Target because they're right next to each other, essentially. And it's funny, fun fact, my hometown is actually getting a Target. And guess where it's going to be? Right across the street from Walmart in an old Sears building. If you guys knew what Sears was, uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Old 
department store that merged with Kmart. If you guys don't know what Kmart is either, same thing. Uh, they both went bankrupt and they shut down. Fun fact, I worked at a Kmart. Fun fact. And then they shut down. Literally, I literally got the job. And then three months later, they shut down. <laughs> so that was actually the last ever job I worked before the event of 2020. And I turned into a YouTuber. So yeah, so that's actually the last physical job I actually worked at. Fun fact. Um, but yeah, so everywhere you go, there's a Walmart and Target essentially close to each other. And what stops sports card collectors? Because I know people do this. My friends do this. They like go hopping around each store. What stops them from saying this? Like, oh, I can't believe this is freaking forty dollars here with tax. That's like forty five dollars almost, by the way. And let's let, let, let's just go to Target, right? Let's just go to Target, buy a box there. You know, saves me five bucks plus some probably, right? You know, so that's the problem, right? Same thing with Bowman. Same thing with Bowman, which I referred to a little bit ago. Bowman was the same issue. But this time, see, here's the thing. Here's what separates Bowman from Chrome, right? Bowman, this year, for the blaster format, exceptionally good. Exceptionally good. I have two boxes left of Bowman. See, look, right here. Right here. One box right here. Sealed. Completely sealed. It's been sitting here waiting to open since probably May or June, whenever that set came out, right? Um, but there's just been so many cards, I have just not gotten to it yet, right? So, what separates Bowman from Chrome is for $40, because if you guys are unaware, Walmart sold their blaster boxes for $40 for Bowman as well. And um, Target was $35, or vice versa. No, I take that back, I take that back. Walmart was 35 and Target was 30 That's right, Target was 30 So Bowman at Target was actually under MSRP because everywhere else was selling them for 35 right? So but here's the thing. Bowman retail was well worth the 35 or $40. Now, Chrome, on the other hand, Aside from the buyback promotion, which people love, and I do myself, I wish my parallel Acuna card out of 99 would count, but apparently it doesn't. What a slap in the face to me, huh? What a what a joke that is. Every card should be buybackable of those players from Chrome. They really, really should be, but it, it's whatever. I, I get it. I get it. I get what they're trying to do. It's whatever. Um, Chrome retail, in terms of odds, is not that good. As you guys know that, if you guys have opened Chrome or watched Chrome like I did, I haven't bought a blaster box yet. We're on our last pack of Chrome today, and I still haven't bought in a box of Chrome yet, which I'm going to. I just want to find the target first because I, I want that extra $5. Because if I keep on buying blaster boxes of Chrome time and time and time again, which I do plan on it because there's nothing really going to be good out for a while... Um, of course, you do have Cosmic Chrome next week, which we'll cover. And you got Pro Debut September 1st, which, again, if you guys are sleeping on that set, what are you doing? Shout out Knoxville Rips. Look, took my advice, bought a pack the next day, and got a Corbin Carroll autograph. So guess what? You guys really, I'm telling you guys, you should really, 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 really look into getting Pro Debut this year. You guys may not like the set, but guess what? There are a lot of good autograph prospect farm system guys, top 100 prospect type names in that set as autographs. You guys should most certainly, for $60, get four autographs for $60. You should most certainly be on that. But getting back to Chrome, there's really nothing really going to be out. Like the next retail set after um, Allen and Ginter is going to be updated. And at that point, when you'll see Allen and Ginter, Allen and Ginter will probably hit shelves around the 1st of October. And Update is coming out around the 12th of October. So it's only going to be about two, three-ish weeks that we're going to have to have that little time frame there of really nothing. Um, still no word on Stadium Club. I wish I would have an answer. I know nothing. I asked my hobby guy. He hasn't put pre-orders in yet for it. So that tells me it's not coming out at least until November or December. Because what you guys may not know is Tops and Fanatics switched up the pre-ordering system on, on card shops um, a little bit. So what it is, so like, here's the thing. Like back then, they would be allowed to pre-order product. Like let's say, for example, 
um, update, right? Local card shops would get pre-order forms for update, like, before, before last year, in, like, April of that year. So, like, they knew well in advance, right? But for some reason, now what the new system is, is you have to get your order in four weeks before the release. So they send the forms out about four weeks prior to a release. So that way you get your orders in and then they come very soon instead of waiting so long. So I asked, like I like I saw him the other day, I was like, do you know anything about archives? He said no. Do you know anything about Stadium Club? He said no. How about Heritage High Number? Nothing. Not even nothing about Bowman Draft yet. So update, he didn't even get his pre-order form yet for that either. But of course, if it's a month prior... Didn't get it yet, but he should be getting it soon if that's going to be the week of the release. Um, but still, like, you know, it's, it's I'm telling you right now, like, we're going to be in for a hectic December. Come back in December when, when this happens, I'm sure we're going to talk about it quite a bit. We'll be doing multiple watch for you buys and top tens or top fives or whatever. And there's that. Um, but it sucks, man. It really does suck. Like, I said this in a couple videos ago, like, Christmas time... Like, buying for yourself around that time of the year is, like, the worst. Because not only do you have to, like, buy for yourself, which, again, should be, like, the last priority because, of course, it's Christmas, right? But you have to buy for your friends and family, too. Like, you know, like, it's hard. It really, really is hard. And, like, a lot of people don't understand that. Like, during the winter season, and, like, like for example, like, November, December, January, February is when baseball is not played, right? Like, you would think that they would release these sets, like, during the baseball season. Like, it was before Tops got taken over by Fanatics, FYI. Um, but for some reason, they changed their philosophy up. I, I, I don't know why. I wish I could give you a solid answer. I had people freaking arguing with me in the comment section the other day. It was the video titled, um, The One Baseball Problem Nobody Talks About, or it was something titled like that. I had people freaking arguing with me saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, yada, yada, yada. Listen, I get that they want to make money during the Christmas season. Who doesn't want to make money during the Christmas season? That's the most money-spending time period of the year. But, like, do we really need 10 baseball sets in the month of December? Is Tops really that down bad to release their qu quarter four numbers the next year and say it was a smashing success? Do they not think that if they don't release those sets in December, they're not going to succeed or something like that? Like, I get you want to release sets in December, but not freaking 10 of them. Like, that's bad. That is real bad. Because guess what? I said this in the other video. Guess what's going to happen to every single one of those retail sets like a stadium club? Allen and Ginter and archives and stuff like that. What's happening right now at Walmart on the shelves where those products are still at? Clearance stickers. Even Bowman Platinum. Even gallery blaster boxes. All clearanced. The same thing's going to happen this year, except, of course, gallery won't be on that list because, unfortunately, they scrapped the gallery, which I actually completely disagree with because... I like the gallery. I have the monster box. We still have yet to open it. I bought one last year. I still have yet to open it. Um, Bowman Platinum. Bowman Platinum, from what I know, is still on. That is not getting canceled. They didn't announce that yet, at least. So that should still be coming out. I would think maybe November. I would hope November, not December. Just so much stuff to look forward to. And it's sad, right? You know, like us baseball content creators, especially now with the fact that Panini don't have active player rights for their cards as content creators like some of you guys like may not know this like I, I bet if you ask any content creator this uh they, they'll tell you how it is it's a struggle to make content like it really 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 is a struggle to to make content when tops isn't pushing out content when they should be pushing out content like the only way we're able to thrive is when they release sets so we could talk about them and, and open them and things like that but when we have to wait until de December to release, and then, and then the funny part is, is we buy so many sets. Like, if you're a YouTuber, you buy all the sets like I did. I, for one, I'll tell you this. I still haven't opened the box of the Monster Box of Gallery. I still have an unopened hobby box of Alan and Ginter. 
I have an unopened hobby box of Heritage High number from last year just sitting here because I haven't got to it. Uh, Bowman Chrome boxes from last year came out in December, unopened. Um, I have holiday boxes that I didn't even get to open all of them during the holiday season last year because they released the week before freaking Christmas in my area, so I didn't get to open all of them. You see where I'm getting at here? Like, and then by the time we're done opening, like for example, I opened Bowman Chrome or I bought not Bowman Chrome, uh, Top Chrome Update was one of the boxes, um, and things like that, and Update, right? Like that carried me till Series One. Bowman Draft, oh yeah. Unopened box of Bowman Draft somewhere around here. Completely unopened from last year. So, like, the point I'm trying to get at here at the end of the video, they release so many sets, and I get that YouTube content creators are a small portion of the community. I get it. I get most of the people open boxes at one singular time. I get it. But, like, it's overwhelming. It is very overwhelming with how much product comes out in December I wish, like, they would just space it out even more evenly. Like, why aren't we getting... It's August. We had... How many sets we have coming out August? Zero. It is currently August 18th or 19th. We had zero sets come out in August. The only sets coming out is Cosmic Chrome. That is it. In years past, you'd have at least two or three sets in August coming out. For whatever reason, I thought last year was just... Like, like, I don't know. I thought last year was maybe just a mistake or like an error and like they would fix it this year. But no, nope. December, November, October, looking like there's only going to be one release in October. So guess what? Tops is trying to get all the money they can out of us for the holiday season. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. There's definitely going to be some, some sets this year I cut back on. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And... Well, that's pretty much it for the video. I mean, there's not really much else to talk about. We're on our last pack of Chrome here, guys. Look at this. There's the box right here. Look, empty. Empty, empty, empty. And I'll tell you one thing, man. Here's the last pack. I'll tell you one thing. I would like to get another box. I would. One, but they're like $200 now. That's the thing. I think I'm going to buy just blasters, I think, at this point. I think that's going to be the way to go. And I'll tell you what. This box did me really well. So I guess what we'll do is after we open this pack... We will go through and I guess highlight what we got out of the box, like the ones I have like in in top loaders. So yeah, let's just uh get into this pack here. Still looking for Acuna. So first, uh, not a bad one off the first. Do we have a parallel here? Well, yeah, we have a refractor. We have a refractor. Francisco Alvarez. Jazz Chisholm. One more shot for Acuna. Nope, no Acuna. And the last card of the box is. Slow reveal. It's an 88. It is. Laddie Jr. So, eh. This card's all right. This card's all right. Um, But, yeah, that is it. Like, that is it for the box. And I'll just highlight you for one second of what we got here. So, these are all the ones I sleeved up and, and top-loaded. There's some other ones I could have done. I haven't gotten to them yet. But these are the big ones. So, Joey Manessis Autograph. That, that's pretty nice. Um, Yoshida Refractor. A out of 99 Acuna, but of course it's not buybackable. A Josh Young. We also have two Josh Young 1988 cards. Uh, Spencer Steer rookie. Um, Shoei Otani buyback card. Um, Vinny Pasquantino refractor. A Kanan Smith and Jigba pirate card, of course, for my buckos. A Estuary Perez uh, refractor. And a Jordan Walker. So honestly, did I get my $130 worth of value? I don't think I did. I maybe got 60 or 70, I would like to say, back. Because we looked this Joy Manessa's card up. Believe it or not, this autograph's like only like $35. So it's not that big of a hit, but it's still nice. It's still a good rookie. He's doing well. So it's not that not that bad. Um, but yeah, I don't think I made my money back. So it is what it is. But I'll, I will say this. I will say this about the Chrome Hobby Boxes. My box was very good to me. I will say that. A lot of parallels. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a bunch of parallels near too. I haven't even showed like the uh, Freddie Freeman parallel I got. I also got a Cody Bellinger parallel and I got a Ryan Mountcastle out of uh, 99, I believe as well. So yeah, I got like multiple different parallels that aren't even sleeved up yet. I totally forgot to do that, but that's my fault. Uh, but yeah, so my box overall wasn't bad. Um, these were a deal and a half if you bought them for 130 now. 200 like they are right now. 
that's a little different story. I don't think I'd buy one for 200. 130 though. 130 was definitely a good deal uh, for that box. I definitely would buy more if they were at that price. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy blasters. I think at this point, I think I'm just going to buy blasters. And yeah, that's going to be it. So guys, thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know what you think about Walmart not selling Chrome blasters. Are they selling Chrome blasters in your area? I mean, everywhere I go, I see the same thing, you know, and it's a small sample size. I get it, but like, it is pretty telling. It's pretty telling if you go to all your Walmarts and Targets and they're all sold out of Chrome at one store and not at the other because of one obvious particular reason. So guys, hopefully, maybe tomorrow's video, I'm going to try to go out today. Of course, today is Saturday. I'm going to try to go out today and maybe find a blaster box of Chrome or two to, to buy and, and open for you guys. Hopefully, but I'm not going to buy them at Walmart. I'm going to buy them at Target if I, if I do find them. So guys, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video.